Welcome to the cool kickback dude. Not D U T E, but dude. This is truly a welcome to the cool kickback dude, which is me. <laughs> Did you enjoy that the other day? I noticed Google is doing its job now, so you're up on the first page of Google, which you should be because I am now going to give you one song and then I'm giving you a little bit of research information uh, about the radio which I will do each time. So here, have a listen to this, have a listen to this. Boy oh boy, this will be just great. Right, you ready? song. <laughs> that is the end of the song. I'm not doing any more. This is actually, the, this is from the Swing 60s. Yes. Uh, wild Thing, The Trogs. <laughs> I just thought that was a terrible song anyhow. Anyway, remember this is Hedrick, the well, the welcome cool kick butt dude. That's me. Look, what I did, I did look around today about community uh, community radio and uh, it's very interesting to see what the ratings are for community ra ratings really I always, actually I always watch the ABC and the reason I always watch the ABC is that in the morning what I like is the immediacy of the ABC and I know that other radio commercial stations are the same you feel as though things are happening straight away when you're listening whereas community stations are a bit different because they're usually uh, they are removed if you like from what's happening immediately but let's have a look at this I know that the ABC has a rating something about 9% or something and I know 2GB is up to about 13% or something like that and if we look here at some of this research information it's interesting just to have some of this isn't it that uh, this is just a, a, a re bit of research, right, with about one to about three million people or something, that really about 25% uh, of the people uh, 
watch the community station sometimes. 63% of that people basically listen to the commercial uh, radio. I noticed the ABC in that group, something like 44% of the people uh, watch the ABC or listen to the ABC. And I'm one of those, I'm an ABC man. And the interesting thing is that uh, in this study, something like only, if you like, 4% of the people, 4% watch, or if you listen, to the radio exclusively. So that's 4%. And something like 11% of people listen to the community radio. So that's what you're looking at there. So basically, about 4% of the people in the population listen to the uh, community station. And 11% quite often, 11% listen to a community station. Now there's not many people really, is it? If you take a place like Deepwater where I live, where there's 130 houses, so how many people really are listening on the radio, the FM community radio? Sometimes that uh, amount of people actually listening can be very, very small uh, in less than uh, in a single unit. It really could, if this statistics is right. And in Glen's the same, even if there's something like 3,000 uh, 3, homes, say, or places around Glen, uh, if you take uh, 10%, say, 10%, how many people are really listening? 300 people? 150 people? Anyway, this is sort of what I'm talking about in the next few weeks. I'll just hunt down a little bit of research stuff, and you can have a look at it. But with community radio, the greatest problem that definitely exists is the lack of money for community stations because they're really depending on grants uh, from uh, people, aren't they, from the councils, from the government. Uh, but they really need to invest in technology, there's no question about that, because the commercial radio, such as the ABC and the other stations, of course, put millions of dollars into technology, so that's why they can be such hot stations, if you like. A lot of people actually listen to them. But anyway, that's it. About 4% of the community listen to community exclusively, 4%, and about 11% do listen to community stations, uh, I suppose, sometimes. Anyway, that's all I'm going to worry about. That is the end. Goodbye from the welcome kick butt dude, Hendrik is my name.